Yo, what's up everybody? How's it going? Today we're playing some Legends of Dota. Thank you very much to Womit for running the mode. And what are we doing specifically? Well, I have wanted to do a Primal Beast Upwar Aghanim Scepter build ever since it came out. And I finally had an idea for one. So, let's have a look. So, here is our Primal Beast. And we have Uproar, which is of course our main ability. Now, to get Uproar to really trigger, we need to be attacked. We need to take damage. So, we have Life Break. So, we can leap in, they attack us, boom, Uproar. We have Berserker's Call. Again, we get into the fight, we call them, they attack us, Uproar. Ready. Good. Fantastic. Then we have Berserker's Blood, which helps with Life Break, and we have Dispersion, which helps with being attacked. And then finally, we have Inner Vitality, because I, I don't know, like I needed an ability. I originally had Spin here, but Spin was actually a little overpowered. Like <laughs> It was a little broken. It was really, really powerful. So I decided to go with something that's a bit more simple, a bit more defensive, so that I don't super overwhelm our enemies. And that's why we went with Inner Vitality, because, you know, we're going to have a lot of, we're going to have a lot of HP. And then we can heal ourselves. In case you're wondering what this ability is, this is Huskar's old healing ability. Huskar didn't always have inner fire. He used to have Burning Spear, Berserker's Blood, Life Break, and inner vitality. And Berserker's Blood didn't give him health region. Instead, Berserker's Blood gave him, I think, magic resistance and damage. So with inner vitality, you would um, support yourself in terms of <laughs> it's kind of funny. Um, all right, I'm just gonna like hit you in the face. I think with inner vitality, you would support yourself in terms of healing. And uh, now we kind of can double down on that a little bit. Sounds like a tad bit of fun. Oh, okay. I guess we are immediately going at it. Sure. Like I, I don't really mind. Because I have the increased healing from Berserker's Blood. And that goes a really long way. And also increased attack speed, of course. Let's get a point into our Q. So we have a disable. And then we're going to just get started on face boots. Maybe we want face boots anyway. Time to find out who's the most primal of beasts. That's me. Come here. I am easily more primal. Look. Punch. 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 Oh, it's not enough. So close, though. <laughs> but I have healing, which is great. Love having the Berserker's Blood. It goes such a long way. Also, uh, I'm actually pretty happy about Berserker's Call against the Primal Beast with Trample. Because that's just not going to be that effective against us. Uh, we can just call whenever the Primal Beast is trying to trample. And that fully disables that, actually. Well, not strictly speaking, but, you know, effectively. I get more uproar. I think I get more uproar right now. No, make sure we have that maxed out. Because it is very powerful. Oh, messed that up. Hello there. So you currently have your big combo. This is what this Primal Beast is doing. Enchant Totem Trample. Which is very dangerous, by the way. We have done this before, and it's super strong. But it is magic damage. And with our survivability, I think in theory, we should be able... Come on. Yes. We should, in theory, be able to just live through it. We're going to just have to buy a bunch of magic resistance. And, uh, you know, we are Primal Beast. We have a huge amount of strength. So that inherently makes us a lot, a lot more capable of taking on the enemy. All right, grab this. Here are my uh, face boots. Next up. Ooh, hello. Double damage. Next up, we want to get ourselves Aghanim Scepter and probably like an Eternal Shroud. No. We'll go ahead and get some hits in. Ooh. 
taking some serious hurt right now. Nice. The double damage ended up being a, a big deal there. Particularly with Grow on top of that. Yeah, that's rough. Okay. Okay. Not ideal. I think until we get our Aghanims, we'll actually be a bit weaker than Vesely. But that's okay. Well, I think also if we get a few levels into Berserker's Blood in this version. You know, that'll help a lot. And then that'll help a lot as well. Maybe I should. I think I'll get like a point into dispersion right now, point into inner vitality, max out the Berserker Blood afterwards. Just be a bit more defensively minded. Right, we need to survive primarily. Hello, Vesely. What do I do with you? I mean, I'm happy to trade hits. That's where we win, I think. Okay, we gotta be careful. But we can always taunt. So if the Primal Beast gets too close, we just taunt and that will take care of it. There's not really that much um, Vesely can do against the taunt. Let's have a look at everybody else. We have a Sunrise with uh, just a bunch of water disables. We've got <laughs> the Venomancer with a bunch of on-attack triggers. It's actually going to be a lot of damage, particularly with the Arctic Burn additional range. It'll be, it'll be kind of scary. We have already looked at the Primal Beast. We have a weird right-clicker Morphling, which is actually scary, and a damage over time Viper. And then uh, Charging... Healing, dueling, and more healing. Ooh, we don't have that much damage, do we? Hmm. Because I'm not really that much damage either. Ooh. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Okay, good. Good, 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 we made it. I think? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Woo! Scary moment. That's for sure. Do I want to go for it? I think I do. Alright. Mm. Alright, just one hit. It's not enough. It's not enough. More Berserker's Blood, please. I want to be able to stay in this lane and survive. Berserker's Blood is really good for that. Even if the Quick Law... Quick Law taps the, the Primal Beast is throwing at me, we'll be able to take them fine. Pick up the Bounty Rune, thank you very much. And... Uh, yeah, I don't really know where I'm headed, I guess here. I mean, this still gives a lot of damage. I would like some mana, but I don't know what's a good way of getting that. I could pick up a Basilisk, I guess. Like, I think a Basilisk and a Cloak just to fill up the inventory a bit. Because it'll give me mana, and I want that. And it'll give me a little bit of magic protection, which we will upgrade later into a lot more magic protection. I think that's going to be good too. Oh, don't get excited. The level 25 Berserker's Core Talon is a lie. It's not plus 10,000 AoE. <laughs> no, no, no. That would be a bit much, I think. It is plus 200. We tested that. It would be kind of funny if it was plus 10,000, though. Oh. But, like, what's the point? All right. I guess you can't really attack me. Yeah, that didn't work. <laughs> that didn't work at all. And I don't do enough damage to you. My main hope is that you also don't do enough damage to me. Which I do believe to be true. Hey, thank you so much, Asos Sky 6. Yeah. You know, I, I get a lot of people like that who are like, oh, I, I mostly watch on YouTube, you know, I don't don't usually come to the stream. And that's fine. I've said this many times before, but I really view myself as a 
YouTuber that does streaming, right? Not as a streamer that uploads his streams to YouTube. And that may sound like a minor distinction, but I actually think it's a pretty major one. I put a lot of effort into making sure, or trying to make sure, that the YouTube videos are good. That's really the main thing we do on the stream, we just record YouTube videos. It would look a bit different if I was putting emphasis on streaming over YouTube. Then we would probably just be playing ranked, because that's what you want to do for a stream. For a stream it's important that you have a sort of expected thing. Alright, like it's kind of funny, but for Twitch I think the best thing to do is to do the same thing over and over again. Repetition is really what's key there. YouTube I think is a bit different. For YouTube you don't necessarily want to just repeat over and over again. You don't always want to do something new all the time either. But with YouTube, you want to be a bit more into that direction. Alright, I think we gotta go. I mean, I'm, I'm not worried about dying, if I'm honest. Because I'm unlikely to die. I'm just hard to kill, you know? Okay. We're good, we're good. <laughs> if you don't leave a like on the video, this cat will explode! Maybe, maybe he won't. He's fine, he's fine. Please leave a rating on the video, I appreciate it. <sighs> Let's come in over here and we can maybe take down these ancients. Because we do have uproar right now. That's a good amount of bonus damage, right? Yeah, we really need that Aghanims. But we're working towards it. It'll take a little bit, but we'll get there. More Berserker's blood. <clears throat> now, for Twitch, you want repetition. So people can show up and, you know, like, get what they are looking for. Because the difference between Twitch and YouTube is that... Twitch is live, so, I mean, obviously, right? But um, that means that if somebody wants to show up to see a specific show, they might not necessarily be able to make it at the same time every day. You know what I mean? Well, on YouTube, that would be fine. You can just watch it later, right? Like, the difference is basically on YouTube, if you are busy and you watch the video 20 minutes later, it's fine, the video is still there. But on Twitch, if you're busy, and you want to watch the stream 20 minutes later, you might have just missed what you wanted to see. So that's why for Twitch it's generally beneficial, in my opinion, to kind of like do the same thing over and over again, so that the people that are coming to your stream to see your certain things can do so at time delays. You know? YouTube works a bit differently, because YouTube have a bit more of a... YouTube people have a bit more flexibility in what they can do can uh, can watch, that also means that they expect a bit more variety. Now, not too much variety, usually. You still want to kind of stay within a certain brand. Um, but that's why, for example, for YouTube, I try to do a bunch of different custom games all the time. I don't just like, we don't just play one thing over and over again. Right? A bit of variety, I think, helps a lot on YouTube. Ooh. Okay. Nice. And yeah, that dude is scary. But we just got self dispel. Which makes a huge difference. And it's hard to kill us. We're bulky. I mean, it's not the main point of the build, but it is a point of a build of the build. Right? Like our point is to just be able to take hits. And we definitely can do that. Okay. Take down this. We're pretty close to our Aghanims. Yeah, I'm coming in. Hello. Ooh, damage. Okay. Gotta beat this dude up. Beat him up some more. Taunt. 
Beat him up some more. Yes. We have so much healing. Also because of the IOs. We have, I mean, we have two healing IOs there. No, it's not really enough to kill me that way. I'm gonna go for Sunrise. Oh, I'm rooted. Shit. I gotta go. I gotta go. Thank you. Max out inner vitality. Yeah, I'm just going for my defensive options. I mean, long term, a, a plan with our damage output is... No, oh, I probably don't want to go in there. But a big plan of our damage output is to use um, the upward damage, right? So, like the Aghanim's damage, that is. So, I think it's totally fine to go for survivability first. Hello. Okay. Thank you. Oh! Oh, we are being carded. That's very nice. Appreciate it. Well, I guess we're back to just chilling. That works out nicely. We have the Aghanims now. It's actually a really big deal because it makes our life break much better. Without Aghanims, life break is just not that good an ability. With it, pretty powerful, honestly. Got him. Yeah. Primal Beast. We got our uproar, which I'm very excited about. The question is, where is the cat cam? This right here, this is the cat cam. There's a cat right there, see? Okay, let's get life break. Hello. All right, coming in. Good, good, good. Taunt, follow up, do this, uproar. Nice. And we get some distance. We're taking a lot of damage, but we have so much healing. Alright, Morphling, get in there. Uproar. Nice, the breaks. Let's get dispersion. Primal Beast goes in on the uh, Venomancer here, and then we go on this one. Thank you. Taunt and taunt and taunt. Oh, it's disabled. Okay. Well, I think that's okay. That worked out pretty decently. They just can't really kill me. They're trying pretty hard. But it's really tough. Just the intense healing. Not just mine, but also the, te the healing from my team. Alright. God, that Aghanims. It actually really hurts, doesn't it? Reduce the life break cooldown. In we go. No, don't disable her. Alright, whatever, we'll take it. Now, where do you think you're going? Nice. <laughs> hey, my current plan is pretty much entirely just yeeting myself at them, but um, it's working. It's working pretty well. I'm very, very impressed by how much damage this Aghanim Scepter is doing. Like, just uproar. Because, I mean, we, are, we do really good at getting close to people with our ultimate. So we can yeet ourselves in with life break. Oh, okay, where are we going? Hello. Nice, I can actually break out of it. There is this, good. Let me go, let me go, let me go. I know there's a Viper. I don't know if I can get close enough. Probably not. Alright. But, uh, what was I about to say? Take down the, uh, these towers. But yeah, uh, we can get close with the life break. And then we can use face boost to be right on top of them and deal multiple uproar hits. And it actually just really, really hurts. Which I am excited about. I gotta check, is Primal Beast being played competitively? And are people buying Aghanims? 
If not, they should. Hello. All right. Oh, you have that already. All right. Here's this. Attack me, please. Thank you. Up war. Nice. Got it. Yes. Come on, primal beast. All right, more healing. Oh my god. There's my... <laughs> oh my god. Where is that other one? Come on. Hmm. No rampage for me. That's disappointing. Well, let's get more dispersion. More uproar, more coal coming in there. Thank you. Well, I feel like I'm going to regret this. Did I get the taunt? I'm going to go for this dude. Woo! Well, here we are. Nah, we're chilling. Okay. Healing. Going in. Thank you. Thanks for the damage. <laughs> one more hit. I am 13 and 1. When did that happen? Keep the taunt going. Here's our uproar again. God, uproar is so good. Oh, hello. Thanks for keeping me alive. Yeah, it's some healing for you. Nah, I didn't didn't manage to hit the other guy as well. Go back, go back, go back. Nope. Oh, leave my team alone. <laughs> oh shit. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm still alive. Let's go. Am I I'm gonna be full HP. Yep. Ah, that's the second time now where I really should have died. I should have been dead. But the IOs are just... It's entirely on their shoulders. Hmm. Well, uh, what do I buy? I feel like I should get like an Assault Cross or something like that. Just more damage. Lifesteal. Do I need lifesteal? Oh, I could just get Sage and Yasha. That helps with health region, right? And it lets me get in a bit easier. That seems okay. Alright. We're chilling. Oh, hello. Taunt into taunt into taunt. Hello. Oh, can you come back? You're kind of fast. No, don't cart me. I just had to leap. Oh, I guess that works. So that's just like a weird stun, isn't it? Mm, okay, okay, okay. There you go. Got the Venomancer. We're still being healed. Leap in on this one. Taunt. Here's our ultimate. It's not the ultimate. Here's our uproar. Oh, hello. <laughs> oh, you're breaking me now. Oh my god, don't do that. That is illegal as far as I'm concerned. Yeah, breaking me. Uh, I can't. I can't use my my passes. No, oh, I, I, then I can't fight. Okay. Oh, that's. I'm actually super dead. Yeah, I really need these passes. Okay. I'm trying to push, but nobody's here, so I guess I'm not doing that. Maybe we should get Radiance. J 
Just like some more damage. You know, just a way to apply more pressure. Or I could get like a hard and just be tankier. My main issue is the upper primal beast though. So I think against that, we just want attack damage. Right, if I just get attack damage, maybe I can just punch the primal beast until it dies. Oh. Where are we going? Hello. No, I can't I can't actually do anything while I'm up there. It's very awkward. Okay. Nice. We have maximum Berserker School duration now. This dude? Kind of far away. Got him. Nice, nice, nice. Berserker's cool. Good. Got it, got it, got it on two heroes. There's a Naga. Not on my watch. <laughs> okay. Triple. There's another one. We can get this dude too. Yep. Ultra. Bring the Morphling back. Let me get, let me get the Morphling. I think it's time to get some barracks, actually. <laughs> when you cast a W, pick up a stone, rub it in for buff. I do. It's just my, uh, my inner vitality. Wait, that's weird. <laughs> Can I rub it on my teammates, too? There you go. Have a stone. Hello. Okay. Hmm. Naga song. Yeah. Ah, uh, that's a real problem of an ability, isn't it? We managed to connect this. Where am I? Oh, I'm just being yeeted around the place. All right, time for a little bit of a uh, soapstone there. Taunt. I'm gonna try to get the Naga, but with all my passes, it's hard. Good. There's another Primal Beast. Nice, good hit. Good hit. Triple kill. Oh my God, why am I getting all the kills? I do think it's because nobody on my team actually does any damage. <laughs> it's just me. I don't think that's entirely true. Nietzsche Commander is also okay. And uh, Io here. Actually a fun ability with the Purifying Flames. That's some healing and damage. And then you've got Reign of Destiny and the Solar Guardian. Okay. Time to go back. Pick up some of these creeps. And then uh, we gotta figure out what we buy next. We have a lot of money right now. So that's a lot of options. It's actually kind of funny. The life break damage gets reduced by dispersion. So we can, like, nuke down a creep wave. Right, look at that. Even though we don't actually have an AoE spell. Okay, we'll sell that. I think I'll just get a heart, and I'll sell that, and I think I'll just get an Assault Cross. Hey, we're maximizing our survivability. That's what we're here for. Activate our healing. And we'll get a barracks. The final barracks. And they won't be able to stop us. I mean, they can try, but, you know, good luck. <laughs> okay. 
Okay, that's fine. Oh my god. What? Well, this was almost a problem. Am I dead? Oh no, I am fine. That's very impressive. Yeah, no healing. That's, I mean... <laughs> yeah, I, it's a bit surprising that I'm fine, but I am fine. No, I'm I'm chilling. We're good. <laughs> We're good. Oh shit, everybody's dead. Maybe we're not good. Yeah, they got me. They did it. Did they? No, they haven't. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. How am I still alive? Yeah, let me get this dude. <laughs> Okay, more healing. Come on. There's my uproar. No, come back. Oh, I should have taunted. I am still alive. I mean, I really shouldn't be. I guess you know vitality is a really good ability. Okay, now my team is coming back. Yep. <laughs> oh man. There you go. Now we have mega creeps. We sure do. I gotta... Really, I would have died so many times in that fight if not for these Ios, right? It's not that my build is unbeatably strong, it's just that my team is doing a really good job at supporting it. So I like... feel unkillable, but I'm actually quite... Like, it's, it's definitely possible to take me down, it's just, you know, a little hard. Okay. Alright, get this, get this Primal Beast. We got the Taunt. I gotta get this dude over there. Nice uproar. Oh my god. Oh! Okay. <laughs> they got me. It's really like, yeah, yeah, I mean, it's been about time. So what do I buy? I do think a Radiance isn't gonna be bad. It gives me some evasion, it gives me some spell I steal. And it's just a bit more damage. Ooh, what a dual range. I mean, it's not really doing anything. <laughs> but that's funky, I like it. You get 375 cast range for a dual. <laughs> Holy shit, look at that. Now that's a telecommunications duel. No? <laughs> and you want to fight somebody, you want, but you want to do it over the phone. All right, we're not gonna get there. Yep. This will do nicely. It's only eight seconds. Eight seconds is just not that long. And you want to duel, but you gotta do it later after school. Buy a Starcraft. Gotta go for this dude for. Oh. Excuse you, friends. 
think I can't get through the the break. Like that really is a big problem for me. Okay, we got we got one of the breaking heroes. I gotta get the other dude. All right. Ooh, we're broken again. Get the Naga. Get the Naga. Nice. No, where do you think you're going? Nice. There's one more here. Got him. Triple kill. Sick. Alright, we'll go down here. Megas are coming in. There's just a Venomancer. No more, my friend! Oh, I regret this. Oh, God. <laughs> but the Megas should have it, right? Or maybe not. Big duel, long range duel. There we go. Hey! Look at that. We got there. We got there. I, I do, again, chat is whining. Um, I really don't think that my build was that broken. The IOs were just keeping me alive. My build was designed to be good if I can stay alive, right? That was the whole deal. But I was expecting to die, but I had two heroes that were just refusing to let that happen. So that made me really strong. Anyway, I had some fun. I hope you guys had some fun. Uh, if you did, don't forget to leave a rating on the video, and I'll see you guys tomorrow.